Hi everyone, welcome back to Terranigma. We're sailing around the world right now because I want to see if there's anything kind that we've kind of missed, per se, before we head off to like Moss. Because evidently that's where they're trying to take us to go, and we know Doctor Baruga's there, and we don't want to. Um, I don't want to quite go ahead of myself quite yet. So that, we're just seeing if there's any islands or anything where we could get some free loot real quick before we uh head off there. We were also told we could go to Alaza again, but from Maylene, we haven't visited her in uh, her hometown. Kind of wonder if they've expanded there too or not. Probably not, because it was before the whole expansion thing. Here we are. This is all the Indonesia stuff. And there's Australia. We've never been to Australia before. Wonder if we could go to New Zealand too, come to think of it. Alright, what we got? More jungle stuff. No, oh, cool, more gems. Cool. Consider we spent like a butt ton on like a bird in the last episode. Ooh, this actually looks cool now that I can actually see the uh, weapon that we got like a while back. The first time actually using it. What else we got? That's a... Uh, what's up here? Here's rock? Okay. We'll climb up here, why not? I don't know what's uh, relevant here, but it's not letting us fight anything, so it might be something important. I don't know. No, nothing here. At least it's not important yet. It might be important in the near future. Not even a gem or anything. No. No magic rock. Alright. On to the next place. Wherever the next place is. What is this? This looks like a village. Sun Coast. Okay. Another city. I'll leave if this town is turned into a tourist attraction. It's called Sun Coast. I already have a feeling I know what's gonna happen. The tropical sun sets, the hearts of men and women on fire. Great place. Alright, so I bet you Kynes is here, because he's always here. I wonder if Hayden's here. We haven't seen Hayden in a while. Okay, so there's the inn. Came here from a boat from Litz. It was a nice town. This is the only oasis of my soul. I'm going to keep it a secret. It won't be a secret for much longer. This is a nice place, but come in with another guy. <laughs> uh. This dude, that dude is insecure. This is a nice place. We don't get many visitors, so it's quiet. The leaders are apparently trying to attract more visitors. I know what to do here. I'm gonna take a picture of this town. I'm gonna give it to like all the tourist agencies, and this place is gonna explode in popularity. That's what's gonna happen. Nah, that's what I thought. No good weapons or armor, so this place has to expand. This place needs t tourists in order to thrive. So I'm gonna do the horrible thing. Because one guy was gonna leave in Suncoast. Took scenery photos. Snore. Oh, you have photos from many places? Sure. All right, so I'll have to go through like all the um, all these towns, and this place can grow like huge, like really huge. Now that I know it exists, Azrock scientists there said he was going to observe the end of the Earth. The world is so peaceful, and yet still, pe I mean, we still have disturbed people. 
Scientists. End of the Earth. Like, this quick? I mean, we are kind of living in a whole accelerated, like, timeline, it seems like. We don't come here because we're an island. If we had access... There's many attractions. Food's great. Ko koalas are cute. But we don't get really people. I wonder what's wrong. You need an airfield. That's what you need. Meetings every day. Prone in our village worldwide. Yeah, there's a fly machine that could carry people if we had one. Cause so they need a, they need a plane. And so they need a plane to get people here. So I wonder how we could get a plane over here. Sea house. Okay, so there's a food place here. All right, well that's a neat little place. Um, we're gonna have to get it popular. Oh, well, that's definitely a thing. Uh, let's see what else we got here real quick before I even do anything else. Can't go up there. New Zealand, and it's. Isolated and full of rocks, and I see a port there that you can't use at all. All right, so all right, I'm gonna go to the airfield. I'm gonna go to um, and I'm gonna go to mosque. That's just the way how it's gonna be. So I'll meet you there. All right, we're here. This is mosque. For more about Baruga, go to the disciples' quarters. You will come to understand Baruga's greatness. Um, it's creepy. This is our savior, Baruga. Baruga is preparing to save this corrupted world. So that's Baruga? Wow, he looks... kind of creepy. Well, this is Mosk. Baruga is waiting quietly in the castle he built himself, but when the time comes, he shall rise again to save the believers. Okay, I wonder what this means. I do not fear death. I have total faith in Baruga's world. Baruga declared that... An age that when we are no longer filled with death will come. Okay. We begin to get an idea of what he is. I see all the paintings here is all like Baruga. Oh, I'm gonna steal this. It's my gem. Mine. Wonder if there's any good weapons here, come to think of it. You think in a place with a mad scientist, they'd have some kind of mad sciencey weapons. So there's the inn. Would I ever want to? I definitely do not want to stay there, honestly. Actually, is that the same entrance? Yeah. Red armor will fill you with strength. Hoo hoo hoo. Red armor. Strange. Stay here if you wish. The price is 50 gems. Okay, I see. I understand. This is really creepy. Just saying. Ruga will rise once again. He will create an eternal paradise in this world. Those in white are white disciples. They directly serve Baruga. It is a great honor to be chosen as a white disciple servant Baruga. Gonna be a white disciple when I grow up to help Dr. Baruga. Ruga will rise once again. He will create eternal paradise in this world. Uh, blah 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 blah. Cultist ship. Blah 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 blah. Seek Baruga's word. Yeah, sure. Enter the back room. It's a siphon. Will educate you. Okay. Please line up to hear the great work of Baruga. Here awaits the castle in the lake of the south. Portrait on the wall depicts Baruga. Baruga's, the sinners will always be tortured by guilt. Now let us pray to form faith in Baruga. Baruga awakens, the world awakens, the world will also arise. So the world is rife with corruption. Save us, Baruga. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so right here. All right, let's see what we got. Baruga once won a Nobel Peace Prize for new biotechnology theories. He perfected DNA engineering to fully cure recurring diseases. 
Since then, he has dedicated himself to the study of the immortality? All humans shun silence and fear the dark. Why? Because they all fear death. The, a playwright once claimed this. People are born crying. To die and for new life to be born come with unimaginable pain. Ugh. When all our immortal change will cease and peace will come. Baruga will create that utopian world. Baruga is now locked in deep sleep in an ultra cold machine. He shall soon awaken in this world. Let us pray for that day. What is going on? We also know he's behind a lot of this shadowy stuff with uh, King Henry and um, Juan. Okay. All right. So that's very cryptic. Like, super, super cryptic. Let's stay at the inn against my better judgment. And when was the last time I saved, actually? It's been a while. I haven't gained any levels, though. It's like, because they haven't been any, like, things to fight. All right. <laughs> time for a peaceful sleep in occultist territory. All right, nothing here. I guess I'm going to visit the um, castle in the south. Guess that'll be a thing to do. And then I'm going to cut things off right here. So in the next episode, um, we're going to go visit the man himself, Mr. Doctor, B Mr. Doctor, <laughs> Doctor Baruga. So uh, leave me a comment, leave me a like. If you're brand new here, hit that subscribe button. So until then, as always, this is Rick Roku. Thumbs up. I'll catch you guys absolutely later.